within a water drive reservoir, the drive energy is provided by an aquifer that interfaces with the oil in the reservoir at the oil water contact. The aquifer itself may be entirely bounded by impermeable rock so that the reservoir and aquifer form a close unit. Besides, the strength of the aquifer is characterized by its size and permeability of rocks. As the production continues and oil is extracted from the reservoir, the aquifer will expand slightly. Depend on the aquifer strength, additional energy may be provided by the expansion of reservoir rock and its associated water. There are three types of water drive. The first one is edge water drive. The second is bottom water drive. And the third is peripheral water drive. For water drive reservoir, the oil zone is in contact with an aquifer. The aquifer provides the bulk energy for production of the reservoir. When the oil is being produced, the water in the aquifer expands and moves into the reservoir displacing the oil being produced. The strength of the aquifer is based on its size. Because of the low compressibility of water, it may require large aquifer to get significant effect. Additional energy may be provided by solution gas expansion. Partial water drive. It happens when the oil production rate is high. The withdrawal of fluid volume from the reservoir is faster than the expansion of water from the aquifer. So, the aquifer unable to keep up with the withdrawals and it will result in pressure drop. Full water drive. It happens when the reservoir is producing the oil at low rates, so the water expands from the aquifer is able to replace the fluid volumes produced. Since the aquifer can keep up with the withdrawals of reservoir fluids, the reservoir pressure will remain fairly constant. Strong water drive happen when the producing oil rates is high. The reservoir pressure can remain fairly constant as it reflects the stable reservoir pressure. However, if the aquifer is unable to maintain the pressure of the reservoir, the producing GOR will increase accordingly. Picture shown here refers to the performance of a typical water graph reservoir. The performance of a reservoir is usually characterized by the current reservoir pressure, water production, gas oil ratio, and ultimate reservoir recovery. First and foremost, looking at the reservoir pressure trend. Pressure decline is very gradual since the amount of fluid loss during production is being replaced by the aquifer. Next, in terms of water production, early excess water production can be seen in structurally low wells. Thus, any remedial work taken to reduce the water oil ratio won't be pointless. Besides that, there is little to none change in gas oil ratio. This statement is especially true if the reservoir does not have an initial free gas. Last but not least, the ultimate oil recovery is usually much larger compared to the other primary drive. The recovery of a water graph reservoir can reach from 15 up to 60%.